So, I guess welcome back. Hi, YouTubes. I'm Grimwit. This is Doom Lad next to me, and we're playing Spectacle. Goths aren't. Spectacle. It is a spectacle. Goths aren't clowns. They just wear makeup like clowns. Unless they're wearing clown makeup. And they're juggalos. Clown is quite specific. Goth clowns, even more so. You're, you're not a goth uh, cross. You're too cute. You're a palace cat. Am I going to draw you as a goth palace cat? Is that what I'm doing next? I also noticed this little thing over here. Damn it real quick. There's an eerie magical glow coming from this direction. That's all I got. Should I just... Oh, well. Should I just go there? You should not have come here, human. I, do you know he does not look like your typical chimera? He just looks kind of like a moose with wings and the head of some guy and a candy necklace. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's cross-eyed. That's adorable. The shards of the meteorite have absorbed the dispelled the curse. The manticore regains his senses. Q U. You have my sincerest gratitude for breaking the curse. Long ago, such a favor was performed by another great individual, with whom I became confident. Perhaps you and I shall share such friendship. To show my appreciation, I would like to help you fix that broken instrument that's in your possession. But alas, my magical basin is all but starved of its magical waters. Uh, I mean, we could just get another bottle wa or a ball of water. Marking yeah, the foot of the tile along with a line that leads to a red. X. Thank you. Um. <laughs> This is likely a clever use of the tile floor to draw a map. Huh. Where would this be? I wonder if this is actually supposed to draw an... No? Huh. One, two, three, forward, and one, two, three, four, that way. But I've got no nothing to say what's what direction. Map from one of the foot to the other? That's possible. If that's true, then that's uh, north, 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 west, 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 west. Well, it's east. And north rather than north and west. It just it depends on which way we're facing now, but I'm I'm guessing that that's oh, north. Yeah. I don't see anything that says what direction is what. The mortar that's sits true. here. It must be the main tool for the visor's work. Is this the visor? Are you the visor? The majestic manticore is the visor of the kingdom. The advisor to help the Shah. He is wise and wants to help you. Oh, so we've been finding Grand. his notes. I guess I'll talk yep. to him again. I will do my best to serve you, and together we can save this land. Bring me any items you are curious about, and I will provide you with the information I can. I hope you're you're used to that fucking voice, uh, <laughs> uh Doom Lad. Well, it's not hard. Are you just sticking your tongue in the side of your mouth and talking? You are. Uh, kind of. <laughs> okay. Well, let's start with the Blothany Stone. The Manticore ex item examines the item you present to him. I have hidden that gem in the desert. But my mind is hazy, and I have forgotten its purpose. Perhaps I wrote it down. Oh, fuck you. Um. <laughs> how about the Sacred Bow? 
The Manticore examines the items you present to him. The sacred piece of wood can be used to repair the instrument. It scares magical properties within it. No. At least now we know what that's for now. Yeah, that makes sense. Then we've got this, uh, this strange lantern. The lantern examines the item you present to him. I do not recognize this item. I can offer no useful information. Okay, fine, whatever. We already know what the, sh the fruit is for. Here's the broken instrument. Saber, abacus, sure. What do you think of this abacus, advisor? The manticore examines the abacus. Oh, what, seriously? Uh, <laughs> oh well. Yeah, you, you don't have to read that again, that's so dumb. All right, fine. Um, then there's the broken instrument, but we already know that it's being used by whatever her name is. So, north, 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 west, or, you know, west, 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 west. Besides, I need to go back to the other land in order to, uh... In order to, uh, um get another orb of water. Okay, let me save. North. North. Oh, I guess that's two norths. North. West. 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 Oh, oh hey, there she is. Here to drop another change of clothes. There is someone yep. waiting for you at the oasis. Examine things first. The oasis waters are calm and are the most beautiful are and are the most beautiful you have ever seen. You know, I figured out why they rotated the compass. Why? So that you can have the sun rise. Oh yeah. Directly in front of you. That makes sense. That's actually a, that's a good call. I guess we'll we'll talk to the incredible melting woman. Yep. I see you've befriended our dear vizier, the Manticore. He has protected this land since time immemorial. After the king broke the creature's curse, they worked together to purify the land and bring about an era of prosperity. Loyal to a fault, his convictions never wavered. Even after the king's demise, he toiled away in hopes of finding harmony in the land. These waters burn with such majesty that they will return that forlorn instrument to its splendor. Together with the appendage of a mighty tree, the instrument's strings will gleam once more. I ask only that you bring me that instrument when we return to your world. Its power is our only hope in defeating such evils. Good luck. Wisdom. And of course she just snaps her fingers and melts into clothes. And I can't take nope. those clothes, even though I want to. Um, where's that bottle? There it is. There it Second is. from the bottom. Oasis water. All right, there we go. You notice that the water burns with mystical energy. Ah, the fire! A lot of wandering around in this game. I've been going for days and days. Oh. I haven't slept. Pour the oasis water into the mortar. God, that was a big bottle. Yep. Jim Lad, you're up. Yep. Thank you, friend. With this magic properties of the oasis, I can perform small wonders with my mortar. 
please accept this nasio amulet. It will dispel a curse of death. Oh, yeah, okay. Hey. You take the amulet. What the hell is the nasier amulet? Decorative amulet adorned with an eye-shaped gem. It is said to protect one from evil curses. Okay, I guess we'll use it on ourselves. It doesn't work. What? Where are you supposed to wear an <laughs> amulet? <laughs> All right. Um, I guess we use the instrument. Uh, there it is. On the mortar. You place the broken instrument on the magical mortar. And then the sacred bow. Yep. You attach the sacred bow to the instrument. I do? Fucking how? Oh. Magically. All this time, I thought it was like a dulcimer or something. No, it's a harp. Cool. Yeah. The instrument is on the mortar. Not for long. <laughs> Magical instrument. Your gall. Or your go. The glorious instrument is built anew. Now you must take it back to your world so it can be used to sabotage the charlatan. Sabotage! First, however, is the matter of traversing the green world. For such a journey, you need only the assistance of the genie of the lamp. All right, that, that's legit. That makes sense. You take the fixed instrument. Well, I took that before. You know, never mind. So, <laughs> so if, like, let me get this Nazir amulet and use it on our good boy here to find out what its exact properties are because I can't wear it. The manicore examines the amulet. An amulet can dispel and cleanse a death curse. I don't know what that means. Okay, so you use it on yourself after you've been cursed. Or I use it on... Hey, what happens if I put this on the... Hmm. Also, there's this door. Yep. There's no lock nor handle. I don't see anything around that looks like it might be a way to do... Maybe that's what the, uh, the clock thing... It's four. Wait. The Ooh, tapestry changed. The tapestry changed. <clears throat> the tapestry hung on the wall tells a story. Poke. Upon gaining the throne and the trust of his people, he knew he had only one task left before exchanging Solus for Elation, to secure a dynasty for his two children, a prince and princess. He would need to seek out the legendary magic lamp and the powers of the genie. His quest would see him retrieve the legendary lamp, not for personal avarice, but to foster everlasting unity. He bestowed the lamp upon his secured, trusted court mage, so that he may safeguard such a treasure for when it would be needed. So is the uh, mage the, uh, the, the circus guy? I, I think it might be the king, and the circus guy wants the lamp. Yeah. Theory. The statue is of a dead guy. No. Yeah. Glorious instrument with rainbow strings. It must take a master to play such an instrument. Nah, I could do it. I could do this. Let's use it on myself. I'm great at magical instruments. You don't know how to play this instrument. It requires a master to play it. Fuck. <laughs> okay, so what do I got? What do I got? New items. I've got an amulet and a magical instrument. What has the curse of death? 
that has been stopping me besides jumping down a hole into a scorpion I, pit. I think I think the specter. You mentioned there was a specter, spectral entity or something. I think that's what curses you. We don't have the item for him. I, I figured at this point, but I, I still wanted to try. Nope. Okay, that didn't work and the bug flew away. By which I mean nope. it didn't fall fly away at all. Um, hmm. So let me see. What's her face wanted it? But she said to return it once we got back to our own world. Yep. The Nazir, uh, Nazar, Nazar amulet is really the only thing new that we have then, because this is an in-game item. Yeah, there's another one of those bugs. I've counted three yep. so far. Yeah, I have that one written down as well. Leaving piles of clothes everywhere. I'm mostly just walking around to get the brain moving. Okay, and there's the third Maybe one. We just. Yeah. Oh, no, that one. Just... Oh, what time is that? Um. It is 2.30. Uh, okay, that's the two, two o'clock bug. If we, we go over to the other one by the castle, is it still there? Oh! Huh. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's still yeah. here. Okay, and now it's gone. You're All right, what time is it? You are kidding me. Uh, it is 6.30, so that's the 6 o'clock bug. Yep. 2.30. 6 o'clock. Where was the other bug? Uh, it was two south of here. Oh. Oh, it's already gone. I'm trying to remember where it was. Oh, I'll go. I'll switch it over tonight here in a second. I just tr I'm trying to remember where it was. Okay, we'll use Saf. What? No. It's. It's one south and one east. Oh, one south and one east. Okay. It's just it's just two south of the meteor. There it is. Yep. Okay, so now we go back and forth. And we figure if we see it fly away, we know it's that time that it goes. If we don't see it at all, that we, means it's already flown away. Yep. Okay, we got some moving back and forth in our in our um this is really exciting just amazingly exciting yep Uh, 5.30. Yeah, this is a light bug. Okay. Oh. It is 6.30, so that's another six bug. Yep. Are there only meant to be two? 
Weird. Have you done the moon thing, moon well thing? Yes, we have. Okay, let's fuck around and find out. So, six doesn't accomplish anything. So I actually have to use something. To finally see if the uh, Lothany gem is used for anything. No. Did you go to the Chamber of Knowledge? Is that in the other palace? Yeah, I think that's in the other palace, isn't it? It's the uh, it's the side door of the sun, right? Yeah. I don't remember there being anything in the chamber of knowledge, other than the one book. Uh, there was some other stuff we took, like the uh, decorative place. Yeah, and we got a spell there, didn't we? Yeah, I think so. The door should be open during the daytime. I'm gonna go dehydrate, rehydrate. Good call. Okay, this isn't the Chamber of Knowledge. This is the Scholar's Repose. This is the Solar Plex. Oh, lol. Oh, is it already night? Damn it. Wait, why was... Oh yeah, because it, Cause it already turned night. That's fine. A couple yep. of staffs will fix that. I thought we've tapped this building all the way. I've actually forgotten what this book is. Oh yeah, this is how to get through the desert. Yeah, thieves passing. Yeah. So yeah, you got the spell. Yeah, I got the spell. Yep. I think this one is open sesame or chain. No, this one was chain. No, it wasn't because you need chain to get in here. So this must have been open sesame. Oh, you were fucking kidding me. No way. We finally get to use open sesame again? I'm using a meta hint. She wouldn't bring it up unless we needed it. Yep. That foot's like really tired of me going back and forth, I'm sure. <laughs> like, oh, it's this guy again. Come on. The spell didn't do anything. What? I feel betrayed. Did you open sesame the doom then? What? No, we tried that. Didn't we? No, we can try it again multiple times. Okay, nothing on the uh, tomb and nothing on the statue. Yep. A silver cicada. I haven't seen a silver cicada at all. Let me think. Yeah, I can't think of one. No, no, I don't think I've ever seen any cicadas, except for the glowing light. We could look for cicadas inside the monastery. Our... I mean, we could. Or lightning bugs. It would make sense that, like, there's a lot of moon and sun 
references in this game, so it would make sense that there would be a gold and silver cicada. Can't believe just taking the meteor work is such a... That's bullshit. It's just bullshit. While we're there, we might as well get the rock again. I guess. Why the monastery? Yeah, it just had some outdoor areas that could have had cicadas in it or lightning bugs in them and we might have missed them. Was it the compass? Oh my god, that's what those are? How the fuck do you get them? Remember the bat-like things that fly off as, as soon as we get out there? Yep. Yeah, that's what she's talking about. Ah. So, if this is the moon cicada, because it's a silver one, then we need to... Oh, and there's another There's another fruit. Did I use the other one? No, I still got fruit. Yep. Um... You can never have too much fruit. That's true. Well, let's see. I gotta wait for the moon. It was just sitting on the pillar. No, it flies off on the pillar. So it's waiting for the moon. Okay, not quite. There we go. It was just waiting for the moon. Oh yeah, that is a cicada, not a bat. <laughs> Reach out your hands and take the cicada. You notice it's a tiny medical thing. How fascinating. Uh, mechanical, not medical. Medical Mechanica. Eh. I didn't see you as one to uh, join Cult Mechanicus. Really not my thing. I'm more of a uh, Chaos God sort of guy. Oh! Join Slanish. What the? Oh, apparently the, uh, the time stops them. Okay. Crazy. Cool. That's mine now. You're mine. Okay, so now we have a golden sur cicada cicada. Yep. I didn't even think about stopping time to catch them. I guess. Yeah, because it said time stop didn't work that way. I think the gold one is on the docks. Beach to it. Grab it! Yep. Lag. She's, she's like 20 seconds behind us. Okay, so... <laughs> yep. Yeah, I, I had them marked down as... Bat and bird. Yeah, same. So it's like 6 and 6.30, right? So it's like 5 and 6. Might be how we get the fireflies, too. Are you supposed to get the fireflies? I mean, I guess we are. I actually don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Yep. What time is it? There's still firefly goodness to be had. Yep. This allows me to travel for like three hours. That takes you three hours to walk out of the palace. Yep. So it is 1.30 right now. And then, yeah, that should be it. So, all right, now let's o'clock again. It is now 2 o'clock. You will need something to keep it in. Uh, Only we didn't smash that bottle once we emptied the water out of it. Let's use it, the lantern on him. 
Glow bug in Frozen in Time. You catch it inside the lantern. It glows within, adding to the lantern's light. I guess we're gonna go and get the others now. Yep. Okay, remind me where the others are. I know there's one of the palace. Yeah, there's one of them just right up there. And then the other one's over at the river. Okay. And you're probably going to need to stop time once again, because as think... soon as time moves, it'll be 2.30 and that's when it leaves. See if that helps. Well. Well. Hopefully this works. It works. With the glow bug frozen in time, you catch it inside the lantern and it glows within, adding to the lantern's light. So that's three bugs. I th yeah. I think that's all of them, isn't it? Yeah, that's all the ones I have written down. Okay, so now we have bugs. We have gold and silver cicadas. We have no clue. Oh, yes, we do we do have a clue. Because because the sun and the moon rise at the same time. So we set the silver cicada to when the moon rises and the gold cicada yep. when the sun rises, which I believe is 7. Like I don't think they're even. Oop, that I didn't mean to go that far. Uh, to be sure, it is four o'clock now. And it is 4.30 now, so it's still only 30 minutes. Okay, so when does the sun rise? There we go, the sun rises at seven, so yeah. Because the moon rises at six. I'm so clever. All of the time with no slip-ups. I only roll 20s on my intelligence checks. The silver goes into six. And gold goes under seven. I might be wrong. What if you click use on the uh, cicada in the middle? That doesn't accomplish anything. No. Oh, well. Yeah, that didn't open anything either. Shoot, I thought that was what it would be. There are two other fireflies? Nice. Actually, while I'm here, let me use the lantern on this. This doesn't use... Okay, let me back up. Oh, 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 of course. No, that doesn't work. Two other fireflies, what? I have no no memory of that. I guess we're gonna go bug hunting. This game is longer than I, I gave it credit for. Yeah. I feel like the monastery is a good spot to look. Besides from that, I can't really think of anything. Well, I'm about to use Saf. Nope. It's now nighttime. It's uh yeah. Then let's use oak. Freeze the time as well. Might as well. And now we just move around and start looking for fireflies. Yep. Oh, there's one. Oh.
There we go. That's four. My dogs are literally barking. Yep. They're literally dogs, too. How did this happen? Well, they heard another dog bark, so they had to bark back, and now they're stuck forever. An infinite loop. They started a howling. Okay, I guess we're going to the other area. Thirty past midnight. I don't remember any fireflies in the monastery. Is that where you wanted to look? Yeah, there's... I think it seemed like a spot worth looking. It had some outdoor areas. Oh, sure enough, there is yep, one. there's one. You might have been remembering that unconsciously. Yep. Enlightened one complete. You catch another bug. bug. Blows as much as it possibly can. Yep. So now we have lantern flies, literally in the lantern. So can I, like, I always thought this was like for facing off against whatever apparition there was might be useful later on. But is this useful for the uh, the Firefly or the Cicada puzzle? Probably not. No. So then there's the question of when do these work? You saw it, but you're not sure how one found the solution. You know what? Let's get a uh, clue from the Manticore. So time for M Manticore talk. Manticore yep. uh, looks at the golden cicada. Oh, fuck you. All right. No, he can't. <laughs> he doesn't help. I'm dragging you back and forth through the walkthrough vid. I know. I, I figured that's what you were doing because you were moving really fast. I'm looking for clues just around the throne now. It's just, it's a clock, right? So there's a silver and a gold. Silver usually means the moon and gold usually means the sun. Yep, do we know that the moon is 6 p.m. for sure? Nope. We know that the sun is definitely, um, yeah, we checked that. Seven. Well, I'm just thinking we could go back to the uh, first palace and check when the moon shows up in the moon room. That's true. Or I could just brute force it. They're actually clock hands. Huh. 
It does make sense. And if they are clock hands, what? Which one is which? Like, which is the hour hand and which is the minute hand? Because both the sun and the moon are both kind of like important, or gold and silver are both important, ish. Time. What about, which is the more valuable metal? I mean, gold is more valuable than silver. But does that mean we want to take our time like it's the minute hand or is it more valuable so it's more effective like the hour hand? God damn it. <laughs> I think the correct answer to that question is yes. Oh, oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, I'm also an idiot. <laughs> Well, that's not why I'm an idiot. As with everything, time is important in this game. Yep. So it's whatever time the fucking... It currently is? Yeah, whatever time the sun or moon is, is like coming through here. Right? That makes sense. To get a good view on that, you'd have to use the lock and re remove the uh, throne down again, wouldn't you? Can I? No. Apparently, once you unlock yeah. it, that throne's in the air forever. Huh. Giant clock, but with no hands and an engraving of the saccade of the center. What did the change tapestry say? That's a good point. The thing about a genie. Well, there was more than that, but yeah, it is mostly he's going after the genie. Book, ask for exchanging. Actually, that that kind of looks like the throne room a little bit. Maybe. Just glowing red. Okay. Dynasty for his two children, the prince and princess. He needs to seek out the legendary magic lamp and the power of the genie. Okay, that doesn't help us. That just says that there's likely a genie lamp somewhere. Majestic Manticore. Hmm. Because I think that's the clue to this part. Okay, we have the throne. He knew only he had one task left before exchanging solace for elation. To secure a dynasty for his two children, the prince and princess. He would need to seek out the legendary magic lamp and powers of the genie. The quest would see him retrieve the legendary lamp. I think we have a legendary lamp, not for personal avarice foster everlasting unity. We have a lantern. Whatever time it currently is. About the lantern. I mean, we could try that. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. So it is currently... It costs 30 minutes to walk up to the throne. So it is currently um, seven. Here you, seven. Yep.
I'm sad. Yeah, that was it. I'm so fucking sad right now. Oh look, it's it's a snake head. Type snake. The throne secret secret has been opened and there is a giant garment inside. Ah, uh, the garment. Wait a second, so I had the opportunity to steal three women's clothing and I have to wear this thing? That's not fabulous. Golden well, fleece. it's not just any garment. It's the garment district's garment. You reach inside the throne compartment and take out the golden fleece, a cape of mythical reputation. It's a symbol of one's rightful claim to the throne. Let's see what the manticore says about it, if anything, because he's, he's kind of useless. Yeah, they could have added a lot more text to this. Oh, hey, here we go. Oh. The Shah's go oh. Let me get the voice back. The Shah's golden fleece. With it, you may be able to prove yourself worthy of being his ally. I guess the Shah's. All right, well, let's use it in ourselves. You donned the golden fleece. You can pass as one of the royal lineage now. Um... It didn't open the door like I hoped it would. We could head yep. to... Who needs... Who needs royalty to pass through? Is now... Uh, that was one of the Vizier's clues. Is there was in the tomb or something. Actually, let me take a look at... Uh, where is scroll three? I don't know what the utmost measure placing around work with pure darkness. So, yeah, we got that. With lust of wind, just snuff out any flames. Alright, the king's sacred mantle, so yes. Aha! Is now the time that we get into the tomb? The fabled tomb that we've been trying to get into for ages? I'm underwhelmed. Are you gonna hang the lantern on his hand? I tried to. That's what I thought too. We're like decked out and shit. We're wearing the golden fleece yeah. and we're wearing a mask. So, okay, we're still not done. We still have this door, right? Yep. So, let me see. Uh, magical instrument, amulet, lantern, falcon glove. Blothany Gym, we still haven't used that. What if we just tried using the, uh, that candlestick or whatever that is, like, pull up so it opens the door? That doesn't work. Aw. You have the broken instrument. We have the complete instrument. It's a fixed instrument yep. now. Visor can fix it? No, he can't, because we've already fixed it. And he just stood around and watched. Yep. <clears throat> so I thought you were there for that, DC, I think. Okay, so it's done, watched yep. the other video trying to figure stuff out. Yeah, I think she's, she's going through trying to find wh what we're missing. Which, I appreciate the help, DC. It's, it's, it's really useful. Like, I wonder how close we are to the end. We feel, I feel, it feels really close, right? It feels really close. Um...
There was nothing in this room. Right? Nothing in the gatehouse. Yeah. Somehow, the side door from the throne room opened. Cool. Um, I don't see a side door, so it must mean this thing. Have we tried to open sesame? Yeah, we, we tried to open sesame. Yeah, we Maybe tried we to try, open sesame. I like us now. Oh. oh, that's a good point. No, I didn't do anything. Yeah. He looks goofy. He doesn't look like a centaur yeah. at all. He looks like that uh, Sumerian or Babylonian or whatever horse with the person's head thing. Maybe that's like the point. I don't know what point. that was. Time is it. No. I, w I wonder if there's a time lock on this. It okay. shows a flower, not a sun or a moon, so I don't know. See, it's now 5.30. So it should be 7 o'clock by the time I get in there. There, there we go, there's the sun. And now it's lit, but it's not open. Huh. What about... Yeah, we... I, I really doubt Nach will do... Nyak will do anything. No. no. And Polyphene will just put us into the desert. Oh, get close to the door again? Oh. That's weird. We should have thought of that. That's actually... That makes a lot of sense. Oh, right. It was backwards before. that That's what the problem was. Right. I i should have thought of that. I actually feel ashamed that I didn't figure that out. Thank you, DC. Yeah, that, that was very obvious. <laughs> the killer tomato. So, this thing is from the game Uninvited. And... I don't remember how you dealt with it, but yeah, it's a big killer tomato. Strange creature resides in this room. Despite its large mouth, you don't think it can be reasoned with. Let's talk with it anyway. Huh. Guardian uses its giant mouth as a portal to send you flying into the vacuum of space. Gonna be honest. Didn't see that coming. Didn't see that coming. You die instantly and your remains will drift forever into the void. <laughs> Quick sink puberty love. What? I'll use the uh, naser on it. Nope. Bakshish oh, well. ante room. Well, we do have the be the blethany. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. DC is using the blethany stone, B blethany gem on it, since it is also of the cosmos. That is a one-for-one -one <laughs> graphical interpretation of what it looked like from uh, Uninvited. Yeah. Oh, this guy's clearly a fan. Otherwise, it wouldn't have created this game. Maybe it has gone to back wherever it was from. Yeah. Small antechamber that's not likely to be visited by most. Yeah, all the, the tiles on the wall look like they're where they should be. 
Yeah. A large stone coffin resides here. Only an idiot would open up this coffin. Now I can't do it though. A strong idiot. <laughs> you can't lift the heavy stone lid with your hands. You will need something to pry it open. Uh, like a saber? Do we finally get to use the saber? Oh dear, you slide the sword under the lid and use it to pry off the lid. Pry the lid off. A heavy stone land lids behind, beside the coffin. Suddenly, a sinister curse, cursed clown cloud emerges from the coffin. The air becomes heavy as death looms near. I had a reason with it. <laughs> reason, let's talk to it. Maybe we can be friends. Hey, I have fruit. You want fruit? You raise the, naz the Nazar amulet and hold it firmly against the curse. The amulet has successfully pushed the evil back. You have avoided death for now. All right, what do we got here? The remains of a former ruler of this land rests here. It looks like he was buried with a shield. Oh, that's my shield now. Does he have anything else we can loot? We're grave robbers. No, no, it's just this guy now. We have the shield. An ornate Maybe shield. Maybe that's what the statue wants. Maybe. Encrusted with gemstones and intricate carvings, you can understand why the king held onto it so dearly. So, trading... Actually, yeah, that... I think that tomato guy does kind of match the definition of a very peculiar guardian. Yeah, that's true. I don't, so that does kind of make sense. I don't see anything else here. Okay, aha! Is this the time we finally open up the damn tomb? I gotta go and check. Praise Allah. Okay. <laughs> As you place the shield in the statue's hand, you swear you feel it grasp and take it from you. A staircase leading below the ground appears. Ooh. A figure in the mist sits at the end of the hall. It does not appear solid. That doesn't work. Uh, you might just be able to move right through it. Maybe so. With the power of the golden fleece, you walk effortless, easily against the. Huffalumpusly, <laughs> against the force and into the count. <laughs> oh, it's your it's your turn. Welcome. The test of the lamp awaits you. Okay. Nope, we got a time limit. Guess so. I'm not sure which direction we're supposed to be going. Well. Not that way. Okay, not that way. <laughs> You've set off one of the I was gonna trucks. say, that way looks interesting. You are killed. I went that way because it looked interesting. My friend, you have met a tragic fate. All right, let me try this again. Um. Are we, are we supposed to be following the green stuff? Or no, this, this has traps in it. So we need the doors that have traps, because that's like, that's got a guillotine, so that's not it. Ooh, a yellow thing. Or an orange thing. The large door in here, it's closed and locked. Do I have a key for that? Can you can you take the orange thing? Uh, nothing there to take. Alright. Okay. Limited light is fading fast. You don't want to get lost in the halls. Uh, we are probably going to get lost in the halls. Yep. Is 
no, there's this. Go down. Oh. We didn't try going down from here. I didn't even realize you could. Okay, that's trapped. That's trapped. This is a dead end. We're probably gonna die here. I don't suppose yeah, this is the way. Yeah, go down again. All right, let's go down here as well. Oh, I didn't think of that. Okay. Oh. I think I'm dead. Yep. Your light source is gone in the darkness. You stumble on one of those traps. Okay, but it didn't give me like anything cool. Can we lantern? Uh, that that was us lanterning. Yep. Okay. It doesn't look like this is different. This looks like the same maze. Yep. So we follow the left wall, I guess. No, it changes. The Wait, maze go is... up there? Sure. So the maze Let's is... Let's try using the, uh, the spell on the wall to open it. If I find it. Um... Okay, I'm clearly going around in a circle. So this yep. is this maze isn't playing fair. No, it it's just randomized each time you enter. Think so? Yep. I noticed it was different the second time. Huh. Oh, there you go. Okay, now we gotta find that door. I don't know where it is. Yep. Okay, so it's not subtle, is what we're learning. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking it might have been something like a hidden wall or... Yeah, me too. Alright, this is tough. Uh, try going down. Huh. Oh, that's just the entrance again. And it starts over. All right, cool. No. Nope. And it's restarted. You should have gone down from there, because we don't think we'd gone down in that direction. Okay, it's just dead ends. Okay. Yeah, now we're at the point where I'm just following the right wall. Oh! Yep. 
Order complete. You reach out and take the lamp. See a luxurious clown here, more beautiful than any other headwear a ruler has ever known. There's a sword here that appears to be far more valuable than one you've been carrying around. This giant gemstone is worth more than all the world riches combined. The king's jewel, a globe with a thousand facets sinking in the rain like moon. Uh, like rain on the moon. Okay, how much we want to bet that all of these are trapped? Yeah, probably. Okay, now we gotta get out of here. I'm pretty sure. Examine the magic. What lamp. if you use the lamp? Um, we're told the house of the poor, powerful genie. We could use it. That doesn't work. Really? Oh well. I'm not gonna take the other items. They are clearly trapped. <laughs> Oh, and it's... Man! I should have saved. Oh! As you return to the surface, the entrance to the underground seals itself shut. You hear a voice. Well done, champion. You have survived the challenge of the lamp. Good fortune on the rest of your journey. Um, technically it's over an hour, but I feel like we're at the end. So, so what do we do with yeah. the land? Hmm. We go to the mana core. Yep. Wait, did the, did what? the tapestry change? Oh no, the lamp was still on there. Yeah, no, it's it's still good. Yeah, it was just it looked similar color to the background, so I was thinking, wait, did the lamp just disappear? Manticore examines the lamp. You have retrieved the magic lamp. It was as the journey can be summoned from the highest point in the land. Under the glorious sun. That mean to do this during noon? Yeah, probably high noon at the tower. We'll try, um... We'll try sunrise first. Sure. Okay, let's see. What time is it? It is one, so it'll be seven if I do this. Wait, what? Oh, no, I'm, if I use Saf, it'll be seven. But yeah. Yeah, it's going to be like four hours will pass by the time you get to the top or something. Maybe five. Yeah, that's about right. Four o'clock. Four thirty. Five o'clock. Five thirty. Six o'clock. Six thirty, but it rises at seven. So let's hit this and hit o'clock. There we go. And now we can use the, uh, try using the lamp. We place the magic lamp on the ledge at the top of the tower. Uh-huh. I'll try using the lamp. The genie has emerged from the lamp. Okay, let's let's talk to the genie. The genie's voice booms and echoes. I am the genie of the lamp. You have summoned me, and I shall grant you one wish. Three wishes? I know not where you come from, but perhaps you have read too many fables. I will grant you. One wish. I can tell your heart is filled with indecision. Please allow me to make a suggestion or two. If it is your desire, I can offer you power. I can also offer you wealth. 
choose wisely. Um, I went home. Like, pow, pow. I could be ruler of a of a deserted land, or I could have a bunch of money that I can't spend because nobody's here. I just want to go home. <laughs> right? Am I wrong? Oh, you're right. It's a shame you didn't have the uh, letter with you, because then you could show him like that. I want to go back here. Shall I stab the genie? <laughs> <laughs> I want neither. I want your blood. It, it, it'll say, oh, those two things don't work together. That doesn't work. God damn it. Yeah. I, I want food. I want this fruit. Would you like something to eat? It's been a long while in the lamp. Oh, what if you use the the uh, mute magic instrument on oh, it? Oh, that's, that's a good point. That doesn't work. Oh, well. As I'm shoving things into his face. I I don't know. I, I don't know. I've what if saved, you just right? just talk to the genie instead of selecting a specific thing? Oh, that's a good point. Oh! Oh, you say you are on a quest. That you do not wish for anything for yourself. Well, my friend, it has been some time since I have met one as selfless as you. I shall help you with your quest. I can teach you the most powerful magic in the land. Use this magic to conjure a way home. I shall also pass on a message, a text from the past. Speak the word of power, abracadabra, and your path will be cleared. May the spell serve you well. You have learned the spell. Abracadabra. You have chosen wisely. Oh, we have a book. Visor's Diary. In the wake of damnation, I agreed upon a way to bridge the gap between worlds. For whom this genie entrusted with this? Knowledge, I give thee a path to a land unseen. Walk into the sea of sand at night until your soul is ripe for the Maker's hand. In your final stride before a certain doom, call upon me to bring quiet to the stars and the moon. Out of sight in the blackness of night, seeketh out a door, not upon the ground, but up high in flight. That doesn't make any kind of sense. Um, how you doing, Genie? Good luck upon your journey. You are wise and brave, and I know you are destined for greatness. So, all right, this this puzzle here, a sea of sand means the desert, right? But it doesn't say which yeah. direction in the desert. It doesn't matter. They just want you to get one, like go four, four into the desert so that you're one away from dying. That makes sense. And you have to do it at night. Okay. The final stride before certain doom, call upon me to bring the stars, bring quiet to the stars and moon, out of sight in the blackness of night, seeketh out a door. So, O clock to freeze the clock. And then maybe abracadabra in the sky? Son of a fuck. <laughs> Again. That's probably the most deadly trap in the game. Yep. For some reason, my mouse sensitivity is rocketed up. I don't know what caused that. Okay, well, we gotta right. go. F we gotta do some clockinating. And I guess I have to do this with the moon in the sky, is that right? Which this yeah, is I think so. really close to. Might as well save. Oh, God. 
It's definitely not night yet. Yep. Alright, if we go for now, that might be moon time. Okay. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. And then we use abracadabra. I think o'clock first to freeze time. Oh, what sorcery is this? What do you want to cast this on? The moon? Well, didn't do anything. Okay, well, o'clock. Yeah, then. I think we have to do o'clock first. Okay, if I move one more, I die, right? I think so. Do you want to save before doing that? Nah. Um, what time is it? It is... God, it really might be 2100, right? Call upon me to quell the moon and the stars. Yep. Endlessly wandering. Okay, so it's actually uh, not four, it's but five. five. Okay. okay. So, partial moon. Now we have a full moon. So that's one, two, yeah. three, four, five, and then abracadabra. The land darkens as the stars disappear from the sky. That's upsetting. And now we seek a door in, the, in flight. Oh, if it's a door in flight, then we're gonna need Alakazam. Magical doorway appears yep. in the sky. All right, so let's move. open the door and go through. Not something you can just open. Oh. No. Uh, well, we do if we say open sesame. The doorway opens. Ah, clever. Okay, now how do we get to it? Polyphene? Doesn't seem right. Can I move to it? We can't go there. Real quick, is there any... Well, and not magical... We didn't bring a stepladder with us. That would really suck if we needed to do the stepladder. Um, well, they even try polypheme. Use it. I guess we can try polypheme. Oh! Okay. I hear me a circus. No. Nope. Okay, now we save. Oh, I can't save. Okay, well, in we go. <laughs> you made it home. So we are seeking out the, the, uh, I guess we're looking for that woman in, uh, yep. something. I don't remember. You enter the tent to a familiar audience. Donning the wooden mask, you know that the magician does not recognize you, but his suspicious will increase with inaction. You notice the assistant reach her arms out towards you. So, oh, okay. The musical instrument. Yeah, she's clearly the one that needs to use the musical instrument. You hand the musical instrument over to the assistant, and she begins to play. Its beautiful notes fill the room with divine calm. I think this is the magician. What is talk. this? How is this possible? You tricked me! I thought you were dead! You cannot stop me! Yes, that is be beautiful music. I'm, I'm sure. Oh, wow! 
You can't stop me, he said, I guess, without quotes for once. No. The flute in your possession begins to glow as if reacting to the music. O okay, well. What? I mean, the flute I... was on the top of that page. Was it? Oh, there it is. Yep. This isn't what you need right now. Uh, it isn't? Use it on the devil. I like his goatee. And his cute uh, eyes with his thick lashes when he dies. We did it! Yep. Thank you, friend. I knew you had it in you to fulfill your quest. You are a true hero. I came to this world to watch over that demon. For too long, I waited for one who could bring me the magical instrument and help me destroy him once and for all. I used what little magic I had left to deflect his teleportation spell. If I hadn't intervened, then surely he would have puppeteered you to bring him the lamp, and all would be lost. Y yeah Oh! The king magically appeared before you from beyond the grave, somehow, glowing with a Jedi aura. Yep. Thank you for ridding the world of such an evil force. My daughter was wise to have confided in you. Your bravery knows no bounds, and I am humbled by your gift of allowing me to rest in peace, knowing the kingdom is safe. Because of you, the princess may return to our kingdom and join our trusted vizier and build anew. You are always welcomed in our kingdom. May your next visit be more pleasant one. Farewell. The end. So that, that was actually... <laughs> Alright, we did it. I yep. mean, we only had to look up the answer... Well, we've had DC look up the answer three times. But, yeah. okay. Well, that was actually pretty awesome. No credits, though. Um, is there not a credits? Challenge? Okay, hang on, hang on. No, no, we're I not... I what the challenges are. Um... Hmm. Oh, they're the, um... Okay. Their achievements. Yep. Reach the South Field. What did we them? miss? Uh, story. Learned the journey of the Shah. So I missed a uh, lore somewhere. Uh, well traveled. Thoroughly explored the land. So yeah, yep. we missed a lore somewhere. Got it. Fashion Soul. Tried to gain access to the tomb with trickery. Huh. Uh, save the animals, uh, which is a. Uh, uh, GDQ reference, I believe. Well. Um, where is it? Save the, uh, don't leave the loyal friend behind. Who did we... Oh my god, we left the fucking Falcon behind. Uh, you catter, be mm. killed by every monster. So again, I missed something. <laughs> um. Yep, yeah, we missed the snake. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh well. King of Thieves, yep. complete the trials of Zor without setting off any traps. So that's, that, that's not gonna happen. Stop. Yeah. In here with us, stumble across Pazuzu. I don't know who that is. True spectacle. Complete the game I without think that's dying. That's like a horror story thing. Is it? Oh, that's okay. So Pazuzu was the name of the statue that was used in The Exorcist. And the thing is, is he's the god of luck and basically protection. Like he has an ugly face that protects people from spirits because they're afraid <laughs> of his ugly face. And like. An idiot, the guy who uh, wrote the, uh, or directed the Exorcist 2, I think is when he first appears, said, oh, this is an ugly demon yep. statue, let's use this. It was like, that's that's the statue you want to ward <laughs> off demons. Like, that's the statue yep. that would keep people from being possessed. So, I don't know. Anyway, uh, way yeah, of... <laughs> way it's of, funny how those things are. Uh, way of the Dead, go right to the Wander... Go right to the wander in the desert. Maybe that's like go there without looking up the, the map. And quick wits. Complete yeah, the that could be. 
Complete the trial of Zor with only two glow oh, bugs. We the two glow bugs would only give you one minute. Oh, yeah, that's that's pretty quick. Uh, well, I'm I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied with this ending, and I, if I do more, I'll yeah. do more on my own time. But uh, no, this that was pretty good. Uh, the same dev that oh, Russ wants to know if you're gonna try the other one. Mac challenge or whatever. Are you going to play that one too? I don't know. I'll have to look into it first. This this was a. I mean, like this is sprung on. It's not gonna be this week. <laughs> <laughs> This, yeah. this week, like, uh, gosh, I don't know. We'll find out. This was a good, like, six episodes already, so this is all right. All right, well, I'm ending it here. Yeah. And uh, thanks for thanks for suggesting this uh, game to me, Doomlad. This was fun. Yeah, I thought you'd like it. Uh, we, we, we might do this again later uh, with whatever yeah. comes next, because this was a lot of fun. All right. Yeah, um, sure. Good night. And, and I guess. Good night to everyone. Uh, I guess say goodbye to YouTubes. Goodbye, YouTubes.